In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the dated if function in Google Sheets. So this function helps you calculate the number of days, months or years between two sets of dates. Let's get started. We have two examples and here's the first one. So for this first example, we're trying to compute for the age of each patient. Our date of birth is already provided right here, which we will be needing for our formula. So let's get started. So go ahead and put in your equal sign, type in dated if or select it right here and you have your formula. So we have our start date, comma, our end date, comma, and our unit. So our start date would be the date of birth and then comma. Our end date would be today. So instead of putting in the day today, we can just use the today function, type in today, open and close parentheses and comma. And for our unit, that would be, since we're computing for the age, we're going to put in years, closing quotation marks, and enter. And there you have it. We've successfully calculated the age of these patients using the dated if function. Let's accept the suggested autofill. And there you have it. That's for our first example. Let's move on to the next one. So here's our next example where we have our stocks investment date, maturity date, and we're going to try and calculate the years, months, and days before the maturity of our stocks. So again, we have our investment date, our start date, maturity date, our end date, and our unit would be the years, months, and days. Let's get started. Start with your equal sign, type in dated if, or select it right here, put in your start date, comma, your end date, comma, and your unit, which would be years, Y, and enter. And we have calculated the years before the maturity of these stocks. Let's accept the suggested autofill and move on to the months. Again, equal sign, dated if, start date, end date. And for our unit, for months, we're going to type in letter M. Enter. And those are the months before the maturity. And lastly, we have the days. Start with the equal sign and put in dated if. Select your start date, your end date, and your unit. D for days. Press enter. And we have successfully calculated the years, months, and days before maturity of these data. And those were the two examples on how to use dated if function in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.